today new mint on card and loose images of AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 3 premiered online and became available for pre-order on ringsidecollectibles.com. Use code FIGHEEL at checkout to save 10%. First up, the number 19 in the AEW Unrivaled collection is the Bastard Pac. Now he comes with his signature black gear, black wrist tape, and black armbands with slight white undertones to the detailing. He comes with a black folding chair, which in my opinion is not necessarily the best folding chair mold that we've had. I believe Mattel and Jax have done better. However, we're getting accessories and we'll accept it. He is, however, the first figure in the AEW Unrivaled collection to come with an interchangeable head. Personally, I think the interchangeable head is better than the one that comes on the body in the package. I just don't think it's a good head scan, so I believe that the, the head scan with the hair covering his face kind of hides that bad scan and, and just makes it a little bit more true to life, especially for his entrances and such. Uh, overall, not the best Pac slash Neville figure, but also not necessarily the worst. Um, my expectations were a little higher than what we got though. Next up, number 20 in the AEW Unrivaled collection is Rio, the second woman to make her appearance in the collection. Um, very cool deco, very cool attire that they picked. I love the white and pink. She does come with two extra sets of interchangeable hands and it's the first time ever that we're getting the AEW women's title. And I love that the size difference is there. They didn't make it too large. It's like perfect size for the action figures and it just looks great. I like how she's positioned in the box. Um, my only gripe with this figure is the head scan, the head sculpt. Um, there's a couple iffy ones in this series. However, I will admit that Rio has a very exaggerated features on her face so I guess they were going for that and I just think that it kind of is very exaggerated and very toyish looking as opposed to true to life looking. Next up number 21 a man who needs no introduction arguably the most anticipated figure in the AEW line since its conception freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. Now Orange Cassidy comes with True to life attire, cloth goods shirt, cloth goods denim jacket, removable sunglasses, interchangeable hands, and newly tooled legs. These legs are to emulate his pants and they're made of a soft PVC with open pockets that you can actually slide his hands into. Probably one of the coolest features I've ever seen on an action figure, a wrestling action figure at that. Um, my only gripe is the head sculpt. There's something about it. It's almost like he's sucking on a lemon. I, I just, I see some Orange Cassidy, but I also don't see some Orange Cassidy in that head sculpt. I'm hoping that it's just the lighting, but um, due to my, you know, experience with the past two lines, it seems like these promo pictures are pretty much showing us what we're gonna get. And number 22, the current. AEW TNT Championship title holder, Darby Allen. Now, Darby comes with all of his tattoos, his wrist tape, he comes with his shorts over his tights, his boots, entrance jacket, removable chain, and of course, his signature face paint on half of his face. Um, I think it's a great likeness overall. I love that he comes with a actual working skateboard. Um, it's something that we've never gotten with a wrestling figure ever before. So there's a lot of first times in this set between the first time women's title, first time being able to put your hands in someone's pockets and the first time usable skateboard with an action figure. For wrestling stuff, I think this is a very um, innovative series. I just think that the head sculpts are really lacking and Darby Allen is no different. Uh, great detail on the face paint, but on the actual flesh tone side, there's just a little bit something off with the mouth and the eyes for me. Not sure what it is and I'm hoping it's different when I hold it in hand. I do give this uh, figure a good a good grade. I would say it's probably about an eight out of 10. It's, it's really good, um, especially for a first time figure. And next up, number 23, 
one half of the Young Bucks, Matt Jackson. Now, this is one of the first two re-releases in the main line. While some figures like Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, Cody have gotten multiple figures, Dustin Rhodes, this is the first time of a re-release in the main line. And I can't say that I'm thrilled about it. I don't think that at Series 3 we should be having re-releases. Save that for Series 4, Series 5. Especially since there's still stars to be made, such as Sammy Guevara, Jake Hager. There's some pretty big names that we could get there on the shelves, and instead we're re-releasing the Young Bucks, who already had some pretty great figures in Series 1. Um, with that said, I think it's awesome attire. Really cool. I can't say that I'm too thrilled or happy about his head sculpt there's very something weird about his his mouth being open and although his eyes are open they almost look like they're closed it's 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 a weird dynamic there um i am picking this figure up but i just wish that we got two new faces in the line as opposed to uh two re-release figures with two new faces so that said here's matt jackson and number 24 the other half of the Young Bucks. To join his brother is Nick Jackson. Again, great figure. I love the blue. I love the gold. I love the white on the tights. I, I love all the tassels, the real tassels on the boots. I love the lapels on the jacket. I just think it, it, it pops. It's a great figure, great colors, really looks good. I just don't think that we needed more Young Bucks or any re-releases in the main line right now. Um, I do think that this head sculpt is much better than his brother's. I did see some people saying that the head scan is very reminiscent of Jim Carrey's The Mask. And people commenting, somebody somebody stopped me or smoking or whatever he said in the movie. I can see it a little bit with the cheeks and the way the smile's going. But you have to remember that, that, that Nick Jackson has a very exaggerated smile as well. I do think that this head sculpt is better than Series 1's head sculpt. And I think the opposite for his brother. Um, but yeah, so here's Nick Jackson. And number 25, we have the one of a thousand Chase Edition Rio. Again, she comes with the women's title, some interchangeable hands. Very, very similar attire to the standard edition, um, however slightly different. Same color scheme though. The main difference in this is that it's a new neutral faced head scan, which personally I think looks better than the standard edition. And I've been feeling that a lot about these rare and chase edition figures. Um, again, she comes with very similar gear. You can see the pink, the white. It looks good. Um, I just wish it was maybe it was a completely different color scheme. However, um, I see why they went this route. So here is the Chase Rio, one of a thousand. And to follow that up, number 26, the rare edition, one of 500, Darby Allen. Now, this is my personal favorite figure in this whole eight-figure set, and it's going to be the most rare to find and probably the one I, I don't own. Um, I think this is better than the standard edition Darby Allen. I love how he has the split body paint that says champ all over. When he actually wore this, I thought it was so cool. I love the skateboard, how it says Darby Allen, AEW champ. The entrance jacket's really cool with the, um, the spray paint all over it. I just think that this one is much more true to life. Even though it's the same head, I do think that the, the detailing on the face paint is so much cooler, really pops and looks better. However, again, I, there's something about the head sculpt I'm not digging, but overall, this is easily my favorite figure in the whole set, which is very disappointing because there's only 500 made in the entire world. But uh, that's the game we play, right? We're, we're in this for the collectibles and this and the Rio are most certainly, definitely collectibles. And I mean, what are you going to do? That's what the chase is about, right? Chasing down those figures you want. So here is the rare edition, one of 500, Darby Allen. So there we have it. AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 3, featuring Pop, Rio, Orange Cassidy, Darby Allen, Nick, and Matt Jackson, as well as the Chase Edition Rio, and the Rare Edition Darby Allen. Now, this whole set is available now for pre-order on ringsidecollectibles.com. You can order them each individually or as a set of six. 
And if you use my personal coupon code, FIGHEAL, at checkout, you will save 10%. And uh, it comes in good savings. It's actually better than the shipping savings if you use it on all six. So uh, head over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code FIGHEAL at checkout to save 10%. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. Check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as Color Mania, which features the first three volumes for a discounted price. And go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.